When it comes to making a playlist on YouTube, there's certainly plenty, evidently, to go through uh, in order to do it right. There's a lot of questions, there's a lot of insights, there's a lot of details, there's a lot of features. And Nate Woodbury, be the hero Nate, knows them all. This is part two. <laughs> there's your intro. Okay, so let's dive into this again. We covered a lot in episode one. Um, now where are we going with this? What do you want to know? Um, can you, and if you can, how? How do you share a playlist on YouTube? All right, so let's come back to the... Or a YouTube playlist, I should say. Or is it my saying, share it on YouTube or share it... You can't share it anywhere else. Yes, YouTube isn't a social platform. Yeah. So sharing, it doesn't really happen within YouTube, but when you, when you come to a playlist, Let's pick this finish the sketch. Okay. It's kind of a fun, fun sketch comedy that my kids and I did. There is a share button right there. And so it allows you to, to pick a platform, right? But typically I would just copy the link, right? You yeah. copy the link and, and you text it. And then you can it. paste it wherever you want. Yeah, whatever you want to do. So it, it's pretty easy to share. But the question is, is are we sharing a video or are we sharing the playlist, right? That's what the question was. Yeah, right. so if I, if I copy that link, and that link is to the playlist, or let's, was that let's just... Let's find out. Let's paste it okay. here, and let's see. Pastez-vous. All right, so this, it only took us to the video. Yeah. I totally did that intentionally. Right. I figured it out. I've done it before, but you don't use the share button. You've got the whole playlist on the side, right? And so you come and you grab that full URL right there, and you share that. And so when I open that in a new tab, that URL is the playlist URL. So it just opened well, it up, but sense. notice it's got it's got so the whole playlist. So it's not really going. a feature of YouTube. It's a feature of just understanding how to copy and paste yeah, URLs. Yeah, because that, that yeah. share button, it's only going to share that, video. that one episode. Got it. So I imagine sharing a private pr playlist would be the same thing. Or do they you need can't. a password to get in or what? You can't, you can't do that. If can't you have a done. private playlist, that cannot be shared. It doesn't make sense why you would have a private playlist and want to share it. But even if you did, let's say it was somebody internal on your company. If it's a private playlist, you can't share Still it. They would have to be logged in with your logins. Yeah, so I do have a question here. How to make a series playlist on YouTube? Is that... I had to think that... about that one for a minute. But, okay. but what I think they're asking is, because that is a sound strategy when you have a series of videos, right? You, you have you know episode one, episode two, episode three, I and that see. goes in a series. Yes. You make that into a playlist. And so one thing that I can show you is you can't, you do want to control the order. So this this is, this is one of my playlists where my kids and I did some Finish the Sketch episodes. Okay, and these are all in a series. That's why we wanted to do this. And if I wanted to change the order, like if this was supposed to be number one, I can move it up and I can Click just control and drag. the Boom. order. So it's, okay. it's really easy. So if you have part one, part two, part three, yeah. you can add them all into a playlist whenever they're created and you can change and, and sort the order later. So we've talked a little bit about how to delete an entire playlist, but what if you just want to remove a single video from a playlist. Yeah, I think that's what these three dots are right here. And I won't do it because I don't want to delete this one, but you would just oh, simply remove, remove from, and the, the playlist here is the called sketch. Finish the Sketch. Okay. So you're removing it from the playlist. It's not like deleting the video, but just removing it from this playlist. It's still part of your overall catalog. Okay, let's talk about how to make a custom thumbnail for your YouTube playlist. Okay. So I actually just discovered this because I didn't know you could do this. I thought that just by default, your first video was the thumbnail. Got it. But you can come over to any one of these. If I wanted, you know, there's my face right there. If I wanted, I could just come in here, set as playlist thumbnail. And boom, there, there you go. it is. So even though this is episode three for the playlist, right. I can set that as the, so you could have any video in there. You could add a, a video that you just designed a custom thumbnail for that's a different thumbnail than any of these others and just choose that one to be the playlist thumbnail. Simple. Pretty cool. Okay, so can you create a YouTube playlist and not have ads? All right, so the answer is kind of yes. You don't control who sees ads and they control that. So I have when they, I- They, meaning the, the viewer, viewer. The viewer. Okay. So if I just come to open up a new tab, go fresh to YouTube, Notice up in the top left, it doesn't say YouTube, it says premium. I was just going to ask that. Don't you have to have a premium account to yeah. not get ads? So if I don't want to see ads, 
then I need to pay for YouTube <laughs> Premium. I pay like 12 bucks a month. Now I can turn off ads on a specific video and maybe what they're asking is, can I create a playlist but not have ads shown on that playlist? Well, the only way that you could do that is video by video. So you can go in and turn off ads on specific videos, but I highly recommend against that because, and here's, here's kind of a little strategy. If you make a video that YouTube puts an ad next to and that makes YouTube money, YouTube will promote that video. Oh. So your videos will get more views if it finds a good ad combination. And I've, I've had millions and millions of views come from that because it paired well with ads. Hmm. So I don't know why you'd not want to have ads. If you don't want to see ads personally, pay for YouTube premium, but other people that don't have YouTube premium, they're used to seeing ads and they're not going to be annoyed because your playlist has ads. Ah, oh, I thought of another reason. If I have a playlist with a whole bunch of music videos and I just want to listen to it on loop or something like that, and I don't want to have ads popping up, can I turn those off? The only way is YouTube is to premium. Get premium. Yeah, you got to get YouTube premium. In which case you might as well just pay for Spotify and listen to music the right way. That would probably be a good idea. Because yeah, we, we listen to music on YouTube for free to try to circumvent the thing. But if there's going to either going to be ads or interruptions, what's the point? Turn on the radio. Kids, that's that little round or square box next to the round, <laughs> round, <laughs> round box. Is ring. there any more, any more playlist questions that people are wanting to know? Yes, I'm going to get there. We're, we're using people's valuable time here. Get, get oh, to the... you're, now you're still on? <laughs> I do that and he cuts it. <laughs> How do I change the order of my YouTube playlist? We kind of already covered that, didn't we? That's why. I've... Yeah, you guys already know, they that. know that's, that. That's old news. How about shuffling a playlist? Uh, that one's easy. There's this button right here. Boom. Oh, no, that's loop. <laughs> Shuffle. <laughs> right there. You wait for the word to appear, and then you click on it. Shuffle <laughs> that's playlist. That's what makes it so easy. So if I click it, it didn't appear to do anything, but it's, it's turned on. It's blue. So right. now we so know now it's going to you, shuffle. You can click on any one you want to play, and then it'll shuffle around in the order. What if we just want to change the name from finish the sketch, the actual name of the playlist? What do we have to do there? Yeah, so that's back in the creator studio, and that's this edit. Right there, so Ding, you can just edit, edit the title of it right there. Change it and hit save. So it's pretty cool. Can you embed a YouTube playlist in WordPress? Mm. So it's a little bit more tricky. It's kind of like when we went to share a playlist, you had to grab the, the URL the up here. The actual URL. So when you go to, to share, notice that there's this there's embed. embed code. Yep. So we need the embed code, but this is only going to embed this video. Ah. So what you have to do is grab the embed code, but then change the code to be for this entire playlist. All right. That so URL is for the playlist. This URL is for the playlist, Correct. but when you go to share it and embed it, the URL that's in here. Oh, right. Yeah. Is, so, so you're you just, replacing it with the one. Yeah. That, you've yeah. just, you've just got to use that, the playlist URL in that embed code to be able to. Well, to so in order to do it, you would have to delete that and put in the other one. Right? Delete this part just right here, that URL. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So we've gone through a lot. Is there anything else anyone could conceivably need to know on planet Earth about playlists? Nope, we're done.